All right, out here, Maple Hill. It's gonna be a good weekend. We're out here getting it with my boy. Some casts with, what are you using? I got this black skirt, silver blade spinner bait that weighs a ton. You can cast it a mile. Once smacked it a minute ago, but didn't, didn't get it. Snag one with a spinner bait right underneath the water going Mach 5. Yeah, we got a nice little Airbnb here. I'm going to tell you guys, show you guys what's going on. Ooh, did somebody, did we try to get it? Got freaking Adam up there talking crap. Me, 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 me. You guys can't fish. Nobody can fish. <laughs> People talking trash from a car. <laughs> Bro, you haven't caught any fish all day. You know you haven't. Oh. No. No. No, just a little right. technique. I'll hit you guys back if we get something out here. Massachusetts, welcome back to the channel. Weekly vlog that I haven't done in weeks. That's why we call it the weekly vlog. Because it's taken us weeks to do one. Playoffs. Feeling pretty good, honestly. Feeling pretty good about this week. Maple Hill, usually play well here. Suits my game. Woodsy, technical, scrambly, make your putts. Jum has, your aces. Yeah, Jum has practice run almost knocked down a tough ace. 13 down the down the hill. I'll put that in here actually. I'll clip it and put it in so you can see it right. Oh, it's so good. Let Get him by in. it. Let him in. Keep Come on. Through here, baby. Fade into it. The door. Oh. oh no! 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 Oh, it's so good. Get by it. Let him in. Keep Come on. Through here, baby. Fade into it. The door. Oh. oh. No! 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 Oh Call the cops, God. dude. I hit the pole. Dial 911. <laughs> Dial 911. We got an emergency, bro. That was so nasty. <laughs> oh we need to replay God. that back like 20 times. Oh, my God. No. Bro's on oh, shake. Bro's got a hug. Dang it. Oh, it's so I thought I did her. Oh, my God. So oh. Uh, well, you did do it. Out. You did it. Oh. everything you could. Ah, uh, dead center. Give that to me someday. But yeah, overdue for an ace. Seriously, we are. I'll hit you guys back. I'm That's no joke. In the top order I'm gonna make a video on. someday of me. Yeah, these are the oldies. They're not very good. Wrecking a fish. I'm doing my vlog. Hey, hey what's up, Brad? I like the middle, actually. It's more balanced. Hey, Brad, tell them about how many fish you caught today. I caught like eight fish. How many on the spinner? Uh, none. <laughs> Only had one hit. <laughs> how many does so Adam much. catch? He, he, he finds so much joy on the fact that no, how many the one who caught the most fish never caught one on a spinner bay. Hey, how Isn't much? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I'm going to have to bleep that out. <laughs> hey, how many casts did he have? Uh, he seemed to hook something on his first cast. <laughs> <laughs> it was the same cast. Hey, let me just tell the truth okay, to the vlog okay, here. Okay. I walked out of the dock. Brad sitting here just ripping this spinner bait on the top of the water column top really water. hard. Yeah. No chance of catching anything. That's not how you fish <laughs> any fish in the yeah, lake you ever. Caught the most fish all day. So I bet Brad, what are the odds I take that that rod first cast and catch a fish? You know, five bucks. Well, sure enough, soon as the water I went on. He almost had how many on? Two. I, there, there was something trailing the one that was already hooked. So who knows? He almost caught two fish. Basically, I got one. basically I got every bass in the lake to come to the dock after my. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty easy. Now, what he aims to uh, impress upon us by that statement, I'm still trying to find out. I think that you didn't let your bait sink to the bottom. I think by it. by logic, if he yeah, were to if he were to have cast as many as you, he might have five thousand fish. <laughs> you get to sell your shirt and bar, dude. That's classic. That's pretty wild. What game are we playing here? Yeah, regular. And guess what? Briggs. His name is Ryan. I'm going to let you guys play one hand with me. Those are my chips. First hand of the night. What's the game going to be? Hold them. Regular. Rags. Here we go. My double one. Are you kidding me? You guys are crunched. What do you mean double one? 
Oh, we do. We're doing one, two. Bigger blind. Oh, we got two callers. Look at this guy running with his log. I gotta this. go in with the sand. He's in there. I'm gonna have to bump it up. <laughs> Skull Ranch. Like, we didn't know that was coming. Alright, six total. That's a call. That's a call. That's a call. There we go. Floppies. Floppies. Consolidation. <clears throat> Floppies. Flop. Crap. We got problems. <laughs> that usually means he has something good. Your action, buddy. Check. Well, he's got a king. This is a tough fold, but I have to. You guys are bad luck. It's been a cruddy day, raining all day. Everybody's just been doing nothing at the house in between breaks, going to throw on a couple casts in the lake. And then finally we decided to do it, to go to the course, see if it's rainy or not. I hope it's not. I looked at the radar, it looked like it was trying to pass through and maybe give us a little, a little area to practice in. But it's crazy because outside looks like it looks dark. It looks like it's eight o'clock at night, and it's four o'clock. Right, right. No distractions. It's dangerous out here. Dangerous out here. Wet roads. So the next clip's gonna be me at the course throwing some nice stuff, which is what you guys want to watch anyway. So why are all the signs sideways? Been sitting here twiddling my thumbs. What you? Where were you? At a pinch one. Low fees. Low pinch. He told me to reach back farther from a distance. Watch this. This thing's going. Yeah, you just gotta extend just some extra distance from here to here. Okay. And you'll throw further. All right, I like that. I'm gonna just grow tomorrow. Oh boy. What the. What in the... <laughs> That's silly. Like that? Yep. As far as I can? Oh, we got pedestrians. I'm not going to try to hit them. <laughs> Look at that angle control on this guy. Get up. Well, I can find that. With a 10 foot rake. Violent for Brad's disc. He's a good soldier. Okay. It's speed. Oh, yeah. one time. Oh, hook it in there. One Get time. up. Get up. One time. Up, up, bing, up, bing, up, bing. Up. Gosh. <laughs> that is Oh, money. Get up! Go! Go! Oh, that's... that's so short, it ain't funny. <laughs> I didn't get anything on it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You've done that twice now. Last time we played here, he threw it OB under the wall over there before they put the reinforcements up, and, and he still made the drop zone right putt. Side, dude. <laughs> Dude's one under. First round, Maple Hill in the books, uh, went okay. Started off with a double bogey hole one, kind of a bad little break. <laughs> Didn't go up there and look at the green and putted this putt that I had to weave through these trees, thought I, I'd putted it really good and there was like a bush I didn't see and it caught the top of the bush, kept me in there, so I ended up double bogeying it. Then <clears throat> kind of went in the zone, got two, got four, got five 
got a nice par on six, got seven, then I aced eight, which you can see right now. Brad's been telling me all year I'm due for an ace, and then we we actually ended up getting one for him. So that was cool. Won a generator, which is dope. And uh, ended up finishing a bit slow. Finished slow for sure. Had a... Uh, had a... Uh, couple bogeys to finish bogey nine got two birdies 11 and 12 and then just kind of played solid after that with one bogey coming in so we're sitting at four under which will probably be about 15th place or something solid start i'm in 34th in the pro tour standings 31 get in and uh that's our focus but right now we're like in a position where we could win if we if we pop a couple good ones off. Buddy, that's no joke. And we're due for some heaters. And Paul is more than capable of, of producing them. And I believe we'll do so. I'm thinking two solids and one heater. And we'll take it and see what we get. Yeah, same, same. So, so good stuff today, honestly. Real good stuff. Uh, that's it. All right, coming down to the... Oh, gosh, I dropped you guys. Coming down to the dock... It's raining a little bit, sprinkling. Me and Adam are about to freaking catch some hoggers. Yeah. We're definitely going to try. Well, he lost one lure already. That's okay. But I'm going to show you the technique. Here, Adam, hold this for one second. Little fishing lesson with, with Yuli. We got ourselves a little green worm overcast. Light, so it won't go out very far, but you drop it. See how the string sits on the top of the water right there? You're going to watch that. As soon as it comes dropping down, you tug. They're gonna hit it on the fall? Yeah. Nothing. Wait like 30 seconds and then you start reeling in. Give it a little jig. Might catch a big one like that. Give me three casts. All right, here we go. Go over here. All There's right. a little bit of a weed bed. Dock. That'll be good. So you just watch the string line. As it's falling, one's just going to go. <clears throat> hungry, hungry hippo. Nothing. My first two casts with this bait, we hit them. When I was a kid, they called me Bill Dance. <laughs> 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 All right, one more cast and I'll let you guys go. And then I'll I'll hook it up when uh, we we hook one. I'm going straight out to where they just hit me. Straight out. Actually, yep. Got him. We're on. <laughs> we are on. That's what we do. Keep the rod. Keep your rod tip down. Okay. Don't let him jump. Oh, he's airborne. <laughs> hey, we got him. Hey, is that a smallie or another biggie? I think it's a largey. Come here, little buddy. That was a fun little show you gave us. You don't want him to get under the dock. Keep trying. Oh, yeah. All right, now we bring him in. Yeah. Come here. Hey. Come here. Got to watch out because they'll hook you. There he is. <sighs> nice color on him, huh? Yeah. Good hook set. Thank you. Give him a little water. Yeah. <laughs> Not a bad fish. Uh, weather delay round three. Too windy. We were out there. We played seven holes. And uh, it was just windy. That's what I thought. But they're saying it's too windy. A branch fell. 
and so they're delaying us because of wind which is reasonable all those crowds out there and stuff maple hill you don't want a branch falling on some people um playing okay yesterday i shot a two under but it was kind of sloppy caught some good breaks today i am one under with a putt on 17 to go to two then the course gets really hard though so we'll see just got done with the third round nightmare never been more screwed in my life and we've been in my screwed. life we've been screwed a bunch not like this my discs were th hitting trees going 100 foot sideways out of bounds defying logic I threw a shot in on 18 on Anheuser and a 40 mile an hour right to left crosswind that lifted a 100 feet in the air into the trees bounce back Bogey, bogey, bogey finish. Unbelievable. One round left. I don't even feel like playing, honestly, after that crap. I really don't. It's like demoralizing, is it not? Completely. But we're the ultimate fighters, and we will fight back. Getting triple punished. My guy never throws a shot more than a foot off line yet. Somehow, if it is a foot off line, it might as well be two years off line. If that makes any sense. Which it doesn't. It doesn't Which none of this does either. That's why I'm talking like this. Because it drives you nuts. It really does. It's unbelievable. I've never been more mad after a round ever. That was crazy. Final day. This year, I feel okay. Just caught a monster bass. Ooh. Check this out. That's a big one. Let him go in there. There you go, buddy. That boy is no joke. Good job, buddy. Go on. That's a big fish. It's probably a five pounder right there, I'll tell you. Right before my round, caught that thing. What do you think, five pounder, six pounder? Video doesn't give it justice, honestly. Dude, that thing weighed at least close to six pounds. Yeah, we felt it. Freaking holding it. It was like, oh. Hit it <clears throat> in the water. Boom! Felt like I caught a log. I'm like, oh gosh. That was fun. Anyways, heading to the course. Tee off soon. Final day yesterday, like I said, was a nightmare. Glad that's behind us today. The key is to stay focused and stay in the present, however, whatever that means. It's hard for me to do. I'm going to give it the good old college try. I'll hit you guys up after, after Brown. Oh, I needed a little time to take it all in. It was a tough, tough day. I had one of my worst rounds ever yesterday as far as like mental and you know I made a post on Instagram about how tough it was on me and uh, kind of sorted through the sludge of my mentals and came out today fourth round MVP knowing what I had to do and just grinded it out you know. I just grinded it out. I'm very proud of myself. I ended up making the last spot in the Pro Tour finale. I just came into my room as soon as I got done and just laid down just to reflect. And I made it. So MVP is over. And like I said, I'm very proud of myself. I started the season off missing the first nine caches of the season. 170th in points at one point. I was worried about even getting my tour card. And I freaking pulled myself out of the sh And grinded myself to, to a spot in the tour championships, which is in my home, my home state, really. You know, Charlotte. 
right there. I give a lot of lessons there. I play a lot of disc golf there. So I get to play the United States Disc Golf Championship and then the Pro Tour Championships. I'm just very happy, excited. Um, uh, thank you guys for watching. I know this isn't like, this isn't ele elegant me laying here, but uh, thanks for following along. MVP opens over. I took 18th place. This was pretty good. And uh, riding my way to a tour championship.